Hi everybody, now as you know each week me and Rags ask you to share your best cat care tips in the comment section and we've decided it's about time we shared some of the best ones. Our first comment is from Nason Nakamura who says their best cat care tip is that if your cat is scratching the side of the door just get some tape and put it on and now that won't be a problem. This is a really good tip. Cats are really funny about their paws and they don't like having anything like sticky on them like water or anything sticky. So if you put, you put a tape up onto uh, any surface that your cat has decided is going to be their new scratching post, you can guarantee once they feel how sticky it is, they won't do it again. Our second tip is from Zaza. Rather than declaw your cat, use nail caps. They come in a wonderful array of colours and if the local store price is a concern, you can find them cheaply online for the price of a cheap cup of coffee. I like to give my cat festive colours for the holidays. Now this is a very, very good tip. Declawing is extremely cruel and unnecessary. Thankfully it is illegal to declaw cats here in the UK, but there are some places in America that it hasn't been ruled out yet. This procedure is very painful for cats and is completely unnecessary. If you are concerned about your cat scratching on things, Zaza's tip is perfect. Nail caps are really easy to get hold of online and as Zaza does you can get them in an array of colours. Thankfully Rex isn't one for scratching too much but I would absolutely love her to have her in some nail caps the same colour as my nails. That would be lovely wouldn't it? You don't think so. <laughs> Our next tip comes from Stephanie Gomez Yi and they say having boxes all over the house also I make little windows so that my cat can look through them. Now this is brilliant and this is one that most cat owners will, can appreciate. Cats absolutely love boxes as we all know and we absolutely love our cats and we will do anything for their happiness and comfort. So if that means turning your house into a cardboard jungle then so be it. It's all for the happiness of our lovely little moggies. <laughs> Great tip. Our next tip is from PCD Fade D. And they say, the circle thing is stuck on a milk jug when it breaks from the cap. Though my cats love the milk cap, but enjoy the circle thing so much more, they bite it and run around with it. So cute fun to watch. Now this is great, and this is something Rags can um, relate to actually. She, when she was younger, she absolutely loved the little ring around the milk cap. Now cats don't always need expensive and fussy toys, though obviously they are wonderful to buy for our cats. Sometimes a milk cap a milk cap ring, a tie or even just rolled up paper will do for our cat as a toy. It is so cute to see them running around with things that we just use every day as really boring things. And who knows, maybe cats just have really really good imaginations. Yeah? Do you? I'm sure she does. <laughs> Thanks for sharing all those tips guys um, and please do continue to share your tips in the comments. Um, which leads me to the winner of the last week's competition. Cordelia Brasher provides her own homemade flea repellent spray made with 100% tea tree oil mixed with water and she says that you spray down your cat and furniture and it not only kills but prevents fleas too. Thanks for this tip. Get in contact with us at relaxmycat at gmail.com and with your address and we will send your prize out to you. Congratulations, you've won this Hessian catnip mouse. I really hope you have great fun with it with your cat. And now over to you guys. I would like you to send any questions you have for a Q&A video that I'm going to be doing. You can ask me anything, whether it's about cats, your cats, my cats, cats in general, me or rags. Please share your questions in either in the comment section below or if you want to send a video question, send them to our email address at relaxmycat at gmail.com. I actually have some questions already. A few fans have sent me some video questions that I'm going to answer for them. Hi Claire, uh, nice to see you, I really like your vlog um, and I just wanted to ask how can I get my cat to stop scratching other things and scratch his post instead? Thank you. Thank you for your question Rachel, it's a really good one, a very common problem and the simplest solution is to find the places where your cat has decided they want to scratch and place their scratching post next to them. Maybe give a bit of a spritz of catnip spray onto the scratching post to encourage your cat to use that instead of your furniture. I really hope that works, let me know how it gets on. Hi Claire, it's Alfie, I just wanted to ask, why does my cat lick plastic all the time? Thank you. Thanks for your question Alfie, it's a very strange one and one I haven't actually come across before but I found out through research it's actually quite common and there are a few theories about why cats like to lick plastic bags. The most common one is that the plastic bag has um, absorbed some of the smell or the taste from any food that it's been carrying 
or it's been manufactured with fish oil to stop them from sticking together, which obviously your cat is going to enjoy, or that your cat just really likes the feeling of the plastic on their tongues. It's a very strange thing to come across, but as long as they don't chew it or swallow it, it's nothing really to worry about. It's just one of those eccentric things that our cats do. Hi Claire, I'm a big fan. I would just like to know, why does my cat eat and then pretend he's starving to death? That is a great question and one that Rags is particularly guilty of, the uh, perpetually hungry moggy. And it's one I'm sure most cat owners can relate to. Now it could be that your cat is just being cheeky or an opportunist and just trying to see how, how much they can get out of you. But if you are in the vicinity of their bowl or in the room where you feed them usually, because you are your cat's sole source of food, they might just assume because you're, you're there, it's a meal time. If you do want to stop your cat from doing this, you can either ignore them and hope they just get the hint, or you could try giving them some tuna water, which is drained out of the can, or some water with a sprinkling of catnip. This will mimic the feeding process without adding extra food to your cat's diet. Thanks for all your questions and tips, guys. Please do continue to share them, and if you do have any questions you want to ask, again, share them in the comment section below or email us at relaxmycat.gmail.com. I really hope you enjoyed this video, I certainly did. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that button. And me and Rags will see you next week. Bye guys!